In this video, we're going to cover three super useful tools that you'll use in sketch mode pretty often. These tools make your life a whole lot easier when creating closed sketches. The three tools can be found on the sketch tool section and they're trim, extend, and intersect. Let's start by taking a look at the trim tool. So let's pretend that we have something like this as our starting point. It's going to be super common to have things like this with there's intersections and things crossing over other things. But we know that we can't use this type of geometry uh, for any purpose in the software. We need to get it to look something like this. This is a closed profile. Well, almost a closed profile. There we go. Uh, nothing is intersecting. That's the important takeaway here. And everything is touching something else. So how do we do that really easily? Uh, well, we use the trim tool and we basically just start clicking. So when we hover over segments, we can see that the target for the trim is going to be highlighted in blue. So we can just start clicking stuff. And we see that these things are pretty easily taken out. Now, sometimes when you click things, you'll get a little notification that you're going to be removing a constraint while you're doing it. And that's typically okay. Just kind of keep an eye on things. But this is pretty common and almost always you'll press yes. So we'll keep going around and we can see that we can pretty quickly get to the, uh, the point where we want it to be. Now there is a little note here when trimming splines. So we have three kinds of splines and the first one is a spline by reference points. And this is notorious for being able to be dragged uh, in real time any point that you want. The other two kinds of splines by control points and interpolation points have a specific editing mode that you can enter into to modify them. The difference between the way that these operate and the trim tool specifically is that for the spline by reference points, often just called spline, you'll notice that when we trim, some of the geometry connected to it is going to change. We'll do that again. So you can see that in this case, it just creates a line because at this point, the spline by reference points only has two points. And over here, this geometry also changes. Now, if we were to do the same thing on a control point spline, or an interpolation spline, that behavior does not happen and these endpoints uh, stay exactly as they were. So just be aware of this behavior uh, in case you are wondering why something's happening. The next thing that we'll talk about is the extend tool. It extends kind of the opposite of the trim tool. So you can take a single figure and you can extend it out to hit some other figure. And in this case, this tool works on lines and it works on arcs. So we see a preview when we hover over the side of this line, uh, in this case, the top side. So we see the top preview. Um, on the left side of this line, we see the left preview. On the right side, we see the right preview. Same thing with arcs. Uh, on one side, we'll see one preview, and on the other side, we'll see the other. Now, in cases where this line or an arc doesn't have anywhere to go, right, there's no figure out here, um, this would just extend forever. And so we don't get a preview and we're not able to extend this line. To make an extension, just hover over to where you get the preview that you want and just start left clicking. You can do this in pretty rapid succession and it's just that easy. The last tool that we'll talk about is the intersect tool. The intersect tool operates on two lines, unlike the other tools that operate only on a single figure. So on the intersect tool, we would select one line and another line, and we see a nice little preview that's going to happen uh, when we finally left click on the second object. Both of the figures are modified in this case to meet at a central point. Of these three tools, you're probably going to end up using the trim tool way more often than extend or intersect. So just become familiar with how trim works and the different ways that you can operate trim on different kinds of figures. This will make you way more efficient at doing things in a Libra design.